Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 19, aka Attic Floorboards. How spooky does that sound? If that indeed does sound spooky to you, then stick around for the explanation. And if it doesn't, well then go sub to my second channel. You might like what's over there instead. Alright, let's get into it, shall we? Now, level 19 is written pretty goofily, I gotta say. There's 12 revisions of it on the Wikidot, and that does play into the storyline of it all. But if you want to go check that out for yourself, I'll leave the link below, as always. But for this video, I'm just going to go over the most recent entry. The rest of them are just a few sentences of narration from the Wanderer writing the level. And if you want to see that, like I said, check below. So Backrooms Level 19 is classified as a Class 2 difficulty and is unsafe, but it's secure, kind of. The level itself looks like an old attic that's falling apart. It's set up into different sections with random roof shapes, like some of them could be triangle roofs, some of them could be square roofs. It just depends on where you're at in the level. And these spaces, most of them are loaded to the brim with boxes, vintage furniture, and a bunch of just other clutter. You know, just like a typical cluttered attic. A lot of that stuff is actually damp, and no one knows how it's damp, like it's in an attic, you'd think it wouldn't be. But at the same time, some of it's completely dry, so. And those dry boxes are typically the ones with the most useful supplies, like food, which is nice. The only problem is that sometimes if you take food out of a box, it instantly decays, even though it was normal and fine and fresh inside of the box, the second you take it out, it just rots. And this doesn't just happen to food either, it can happen to clothes and furniture that have been taken out of boxes too. Sometimes people have also reported dizziness or nausea or even hallucinations while on this level, so it's a common thought that whatever makes the food and stuff decay also makes people sick. Who knows? Underneath the floorboards of the attic where you're standing, you can sometimes see a faint orange glow or a white glow that looks like it's coming from maybe a fireplace. Although you can't see a fireplace, it just has that kind of glow to it. This glow has a strange, addicting, trance-like quality that lures wanderers into staring at it for a long time. And some claim that it even gives them a sense of tranquility if they watch it, which is kind of wacky. It's unknown where the glow comes from or why it makes people act like they do, but it's thought that it's somehow connected to the weird decaying stuff that happens. In a few weird cases, the glow has been somewhat sentient and has actually infected the mind of people that have been looking at it and it told that person that it exists, which is really weird, not gonna lie. And because of this, it's recommended to not come here at all because who wants to be mind controlled by a random glow? Not me. There are not any bases here, and there's no other entities, so for that reason it's kinda safe, as long as you ignore the glow. And you can enter this level by climbing into a random hole in level 1's walls, or you can come here through level 18 by no clipping through their walls. And you can leave this level by falling through a non-glowing hole in the floor, which can send you to a variety of levels. Or you can pick one of the other three, like going through a door which will randomly appear. Now these doors are typically smaller but they still work, obviously. Or you can find a handheld game or arcade device and start playing it to be sent to level negative two. There's a bunch of ways out, which is good. You're not stuck here, trust me. But that glow thing, I mean, that still gives me the creeps. And addicts are creepy enough as they are, but adding this weird stuff on top of it just makes it creepier. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure to go check out below for any links you might want. My Twitter, my Discord, my second channel. Go sub over there. Go sub to this channel. We're lit always. Thank you for watching the video. Tune in to next video where I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 20. It's going to be fun. I will see you there. Peace.